Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. We're halfway through September and despite some wet weather in eastern England on Tuesday, actually the UK as a whole has been drier than average and much warmer than average for the first half of September. And that theme continues for the first day of this forecast. Some fog patches first thing, some poor visibility on the roads, but once the fog clears, most places having a fine day with warm, sunny spells. 23, 24 Celsius in the south, mid to high teens further north. And plenty more fine weather to come in many places on Friday. Eastern Scotland, much of England and Wales seeing more warm sunshine. But Thursday night and the start of Friday sees rain arrive into the west and by the afternoon, Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, West Wales and Cornwall seeing those outbreaks of rain, a strengthening breeze and it will feel much cooler. Now this rain is associated with a weather front which is carried by the jet stream from the Atlantic. And what happens next to this weather front is open to a lot of uncertainty. It depends on subtle changes in the shape of the jet stream and it's really significant because it has big implications on the weather forecast throughout the weekend and much of next week. To explain why, I'm going to show you one computer model solution for the weekend. This is the Met Office model. And what this wants to do with the weather front is carry it across the UK on Friday night, the jet stream helping to push it east and then clearing it by Saturday. A lot of fine weather then on Saturday. Then the jet stream picks up another couple of weather fronts by Sunday, bringing spells of rain in from the west and clearing those through by Monday. But the thing is, this computer model solution is very different to other computer models. And to show you why, well, it's all down to the shape of the jet stream. Let's rewind to Saturday and simplify the jet stream by putting the big arrows on. And you can see the jet stream is fairly amplified. We've got these big dips in the jet stream. These are called upper troughs. That's where the unsettled weather um, happens. And well, they're extending. There's an extending upper trough over the UK there, but not extending too much. It does still help to push the weather front through. But it's in a minority as, in, uh, as far as computer models are concerned. Other models are saying quite a different thing. What the European model wants to do with the extending upper trough is extend it so much that it starts to loop back on itself. This is what we call a cutoff upper low in the atmosphere, way up where the jet stream uh, flows. And uh, when this happens, well, things really slow down. So the weather front moves in on Friday and then it stalls over the UK through the weekend because the jet stream no longer is able to carry it through. It's looping back on itself. And that would lead to a weekend of cloudy skies and showers with the band of rain just becoming very messy, degenerating into an area of showers. And because the European model has a lot more support from other computer models, well, it looks like this is the more likely outcome. So through Saturday and Sunday, a lot of cloud cover and some showers, but also some drier and brighter spells, certainly not a washout everywhere. What's less likely is that Met Office model sequence of events where the rain moves through. It's a fine day on Saturday before another band of rain comes in later Sunday. Now, the second band of rain that comes through later Sunday, it's interesting what happens in the European model with that, because if we believe the European model, which is the more likely solution, well, the next band of rain is waiting there in this next extending upper trough, and it does it again. It extends that upper trough to form another cutoff later Sunday. And so the second band of rain barely makes it into the UK. It just skirts Cornwall, perhaps. So some wet weather there. Uh, later Sunday, but elsewhere we continue with the cloud and showers, the remnants of that first weather front. So that's the more likely sequence of events through the weekend. Generally cloudy and showery, perhaps some more prolonged rain pushing into the far southwest later. And either way, all of those systems move out of the way by the middle of next week. So these separate branches of the jet stream move through into the Mediterranean. And then we're back to the main flow of the jet stream dominating the weather to the northwest, whilst to the southeast, high pressure over Scandinavia links up with high pressure over the Azores. And so you can see this big belt of high pressure settled weather across much of the UK, but particularly towards the southeast. That would lead to warm sunny spells by day, some overnight mist and fog as well. But a different story for northern and western Scotland and northern Ireland. The storm track going up towards Iceland, the Faroes, 
and that would lead to strong winds, gales even in some exposed spots and some heavy rain at times around the middle of next week. Now, if anything, the high pressure to the east of the UK looks likely to really build by the end of next week. This is the Scandinavian high pressure, which when it exerts its uh, might across uh, Scandinavia, it can extend a lot of influence into the UK and it can prevent the jet stream from having much of an influence on the UK's weather and likewise areas of low pressure, cloud, wind and rain. But there's always uncertainty when you've got a Scandinavian high pressure about how much the jet stream and how much these lows will start to influence northwestern and western parts of the UK. So it looks most likely by the end of next week, many places will be fine and settled, especially towards the southeast. But there's always the chance of some outbreaks of rain, some stronger winds and cloud and so on coming in, especially towards the northwest and west of the UK. So on the whole, much of next week, there's a northwest southeast split. Wet and windy to the northwest, especially northern and western Scotland, Northern Ireland. Elsewhere, much of the rest of the country seeing overnight clear spells and misty mornings, but by day, warm, sunny spells. The weekend looks messy, next week perhaps not so, and for many places it looks like the fine September weather will continue. Uh, of course, you can find much more on the Met Office social media channels and the website and app, but for now, that's all from me. Bye-bye.